It's a world of mystery. Do you really want to know? Hello, my name is Data. Hope you're doing well. Today we will discuss what they found in Nan Madal using LIDAR. We will also discuss what LIDAR is and the significance. But first, what is Nan Madal? This is a megalithic archaeological site in the Federated States of Micronesia. It consists of nearly a hundred artificial islets built on the coral reef flat and it's connected by canals. These were constructed allegedly between the 13th and 17th century, and it was a ceremonial and administrative center for the Sudelur dynasty. People refer to this place as the Venice of the Pacific because of its water-based layout, and this site also features massive basalt stone structures, which include temples and tombs, built without mortar. This place is now considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This place is situated on the eastern shore of the island of Pohnpei in the lagoon on the island of Temwen. This place was constructed of artificial islets made from basalt rock and coral boulders, which formed into walls. These islets are connected by a network of canals which resembled waterways, which gave the site the nickname Venice of the Pacific. The Saudelaire dynasty was known to serve as a political and spiritual hub which ruled Pompeii for centuries. And as far as the megalithic engineering, this construction of massive basalt stones, some weigh as much as 50 tons. And this represents a magnificent feat of engineering by those ancient peoples. Before we move into what they found, we need to discuss what LIDAR, some people call it LIDAR is. It's a light detection and ranging instrument. It's a remote sensing method that uses pulsed laser light to measure ranges and create high-resolution 3D digital models of objects, terrain, and environments. They emit laser pulses and measure their travel time and return. The LiDAR system generates detailed point clouds of data, providing precise information for application like autonomous driving, aerial mapping, flood modeling, atmospheric studies, and what lies below. There are several types of way to use the LiDAR, but the most popular or useful for this was mounted on an aircraft or drones. They're called airborne LiDAR, and these systems scan large areas from above to create expansive digital elevation models, also known as DEMs. And these are maps for large-scale projects, sometimes used for road construction, environmental monitoring, or archaeology. Now that we have that out of the way, let's see what LIDAR actually found at Nan Madal. The technology revealed in Nan Madal is much larger than previously known. It has extensive underwater structures and hidden pathways. There's plazas buried beneath the jungle. This whole place is covered in a complex irrigated cultivation system and the nearby Tenwen Island. This indicated a more sophisticated agricultural landscape. And these findings helped to redefine the scale and complexity of the ancient cities and its surrounding area. What is challenging the mainstream is the existing timelines and historical understanding of the site. It is probably much older than they believe it to be. LiDAR scans detected submerged ruins and seawalls. This showed that much of the Nan Madal now lies underwater. They say it's due to rising sea levels after the last ice age. So, is this built before the ice age? The scans also uncovered extensive pathways, streets, plazas, all hidden beneath the dense jungle. This revealed a far larger and a much more intricate metropolis. 
than could possibly be seen from above in the visible landscape. What is the significance of this area? This discovery of all these submerged structures and all these extensive hidden areas really shows us that Nanmadaw was far larger and much more complex urban environment than was previously understood. The timeline may not be correct because these findings have implications for the timeline of Nanmadaw's construction and its discovery of submerged ruins from a much earlier period contradicts conventional historical accounts, none of which place advanced civilizations in the Pacific at that time. The identification of intricate irrigation systems and large-scale urban planning highlights the advanced engineering capabilities of these peoples. Okay, so I've looked into the official narrative and it goes something like this. Between the 13th and 17th century, there were a maximum am amount of 1,000 people in the population that lived in that area. And over that course of time, they were able to construct this entire area, move 50 ton basalt stones, and nobody really knows how or why they did it. It is possible that this new information that was found by Lidar could lead to new conclusions of the timeline and what actually happened at Mon Madal. Let me know what you think about the current timeline and the mainstream story. Does it seem accurate? Was this just slowly flooded out over the past five to seven hundred years ago? We may never know, but the continuation of discovery will go on. Although, since this is such a controversial subject of the timing and the history and the dating of the area, it may never fully come out or even be fully discovered as to the timeline of Nan Mado and how these thousand people built it over the course of just a few hundred years. So let me know what you think down in the comments about what they found at Nan Madal and if it actually has any significance. Well, that'll do it. I want you to have a great day. Stay safe out there and we'll see you in the next video. Be sure to check out the playlist, World of Mystery. There's more videos there. Have a great day. Bye-bye.